Graphic Styles for Illustrator. Now, to access Graphic Styles, go to the Graphic Styles library found in the window menu. Now go to a, a Graphic Style file. You can store the Graphic Style files anywhere on your machine. Uh, I've actually stuck them in a user folder. These ones are from graphicextras.com. There's thousands and thousands of Graphic Styles available on graphicextras.com. So now, once you've open the library you'll actually see the graphic styles displayed there they're not actually included at that point with the document so you actually have to select the graphic style so you just click on them as soon as you do that they're applied added to the documents library of graphic styles so I'm just going through the various graphic styles that are in a set called aspect it's basically using the CS4 or CS5 gradient aspect ratio uh, for gradients right so I'm thousands of different uh, designs are possible with this graphic style so basically you've you've just got a selection of a, quite a few hundred graphic styles but you can actually adapt them to create millions of other designs so you can actually change them via the appearance palette now just saw some of the designs there you can actually also apply them obviously more to than just a rectangle but I'm just applying them to a rectangle in this design you also apply them to text as well you can apply them to basically any design so Again, like I say, the, the changes to the uh, graphic style can be shown in the appearance. So once you've actually, sort of, I'm just going to create a rectangle. Again, I'm going to select the graphic style, and now you see the appearance palette has the various designs. So click on a fill there, and the gradient will appear. You can now manipulate the gradient. So just by simple manipulation of the gradient, you can create a totally different style. Uh, just subtle moves or changing of the aspect of the gradient or the angle of the gradient and even the colors if you wish to you can change the gradient stops of the design so basically i mean a graphic style is just a collection of gradients or patterns or could be effects say as scribble or uh, other uh, illustrator plugin effects so now I'm just moving the uh, start point and now the stops so you can again just by subtle changes of color or the position of the stops can totally change the, uh, the actual graphic style displayed and also you can actually add another fill if you wish you can also move the other fill there's some of these graphic styles are made up of one two three four graphic stuff gradients but you can have uh, just one gradient if you wish as a graphic style but uh, you can create let's say thousands and thousands of different designs and then if once you've done that you can actually save the graphic design so I'm just duplicating the item here and just moving it around again just to show that they're actually using uh, blending modes to create these effects so you can also change those if you wish so if you wish to use say darken instead of uh, difference or exclusion or other blending modes you can use those again which would change the uh, overall uh, graphic style now there's the graphic styles library there's all the various settings and things you can do with it there's the graphic style lab just moving that you can do various things there and that's the documents graphic styles that's all the various ones I've clicked on selected so over there new graphic style so if you want to save that graphic style you can just quickly save it that's the thing so you can see it there that, that all the changes of the gradients and things are now stored in that graphic style so I'm going to collect a different select a different shape like a circle and I'm going to apply the star that's it